What is up, my homie G's, and welcome to a little bit of news concerning FIFA 13. This is official as well. EA Sports have just announced this, and it's to do with FIFA 13's career mode and the skill games. So, basically, there's a lot of things added to career mode, which is a massive eye opener for me, as uh, I don't really play career mode or single player, so I think this might tempt me to play some, as uh, the features are looking really promising, and the skill games as well, they're looking very good and like a nice addition. So, onto the things in career mode. There's now international management. Um, now as your reputation as a manager grows in career mode, like say you're at a low tier club in uh, England like League 2, you won't be offered big jobs like England etc. You'll be offered like lower or same nationality, um, uh, same base nationality. So you'll be offered a low national job. But when you're in the Premier League, you might be offered the England job and such like that. But it depends how well you're doing. So that's quite cool. Um, your, your nationality in the league you manage will also affect the type of international jobs you receive. So such as if you're in the Premier League you will probably be offered the England job as a, a preference and there's now rumours about interest in nations will circulate the press for months before you actually receive a firm offer so kind of like real life with like Harry Redknapp and stuff um, Harry Redknapp wasn't supposed to get the England job and stuff at, and that was going on for months before it was confirmed that they even approached him well they didn't um, there's actually now in-match live score updates which is pretty cool in my opinion um, there's like the, the commentators now interact with each other uh, like in real life, uh, the two commentators do like, one is a goal in another match. They do quickly say where who scored, and they said, for example, Jeff Shreves is now in there, and uh, yeah, so he basically says like goal at Anfield, Fulham's Clint Dempsey scores a brilliant free kick to make it two one. Seventy three minutes played, and then Martin Tyler will then say thanks, Jeff. So they do interact quite well apparently, and uh, the live updates cover goal, red card, and penalty incidents, which is quite cool. And then player stories. Um, the player stories can now be run for months into career mode, re-emerging if you go through a bad run of results when you sell or buy a key player. So this is again like the Modric, uh, like related to the Modric deal in real life. Um, he like, obviously currently plays for Spurs, uh, but there was, there was speculation throughout months and months and months of him going to Real Madrid. So that is realistic as well, quite like that. And uh, there's also fan stories now make top news in the press based on team performance. So if you're doing badly, you'll probably be linked to your players moving away. But if you're doing well, you'll be rewarded with uh, speculation that big players would be interested in signing for you. Next, on to be a player. Once you've chosen your virtual pro uh, or a real player, you receive a set of uh, season objectives to complete from the manager. The type that you choose, uh, forward, midfield or defender, will shape these objectives. So, if you are a centre-back, you'll be given like defensive objectives, such and such. Um, there's also season objectives that will... Uh, they will, uh, what's this? As well as season objectives, you'll also be asked to achieve objectives every four matches. They include goals, clean sheets, pass, tackle, completion, percentages, and stuff like that, which is quite cool. Um, and also, if you're unhappy, you now have the option to request a transfer uh, or request a loan to gain more match experience. Which So, when you're a youngster, so now it doesn't really matter if you go in for a big club. So, if you'd signed for Man City, you obviously be loaned out because you're not like, you're not you're not a high enough rating to be getting first team football. Unlike this year, where you could go straight into any team you wanted and play all the time. Um, if you're now fatigued or playing poorly, the manager can now substitute your player, which uh, it means you don't play 90 minutes every game. And finally, once your playing days are over, you can opt to retire and take up management, which is a great idea because that means career mode is now extremely long. Um, so you can have like a 15 year career as a player and then you can decide to take up the manager job which is pretty cool um, there's also classified results after each career mode match you'll now receive a rundown of the results through in-game audio think of like um, they said example think of BBC's final score so you get someone commentating over every single one of the matches if you uh, decide to add that on um, when the audio is running you can still browse all career mode menus and continue to the next game week so it doesn't like stop anything and it won't pause anything Next, we've got manager's office. You can now uh, view any man uh, available managerial positions via the jobs board. This allows you to change clubs mid-season should you wish to. So, if someone's interested in you, it is easy to change club. And finally, your manager now appears on the touchline and matches based on customization options chosen in the start of career mode. So, you can now have a like a, a Vilash Boash type or an Alex Ferguson where you can change what your, your manager looks like and they will be on the side, which is very that's a nice addition to uh, for my, in my opinion then on to the big bits so you've got four bits to cover now and uh, I don't know how long the commentary is but it's four and a half minutes so probably split this into two um, transfer negotiations the transfer system has been completely rewritten for career mode FIFA 13 uh, you can now offer players plush cash and player trade deals to the computer so that is quite realistic as, uh, if you heard about like, rumours in real life Liverpool are apparently trying to offer Charlie Adam uh, plus money for Clint Dempsey which is an uh, example for what might happen in FIFA 13 um, 
And when offering to loan players, you can now set a future purchase price to sign the player permanently at the end of the loan period, which is also a very good addition. Um, when the computer makes an offer for one of your players, you can now choose to counter offer to ask for more money. The computer will then ask to uh, or choose to accept, reject, or make a counter offer of their own. It means you can get more money out of your players. Uh, then contract negotiations now contain advice from your chief executive, which act as a guide to uh, what they think of the club and what player you may want. So you can uh, decide to run all the transfers, or someone else can for you. Uh, then next. Prior to making a firm offer, you can now make an inquiry to find whether the player is available and how much they want for them. So it doesn't mean you have to go straight with a bid to find out it's been rejected and that you can't buy that player for a year. Um, you can now make offers for players directly from media stories by pressing the left stick. So if there's one on the newspaper and it's like top story, say Van Persie to Man City, you press the left stick and but being you're in the uh, bidding zone. And lastly, a new financial strictness set will limit the percentage of players' sales that go back into transfer budget. Um, which is pretty cool because uh, that's realistic as well so like say you sell someone for like 30 million you won't have all 30 of that million into your transfer budget that'll be spread elsewhere in the club um, and on to the last three bits there's breaking news apparently there's a new Sky Sports style overlay which will deliver breaking news and top news to the career mode hub which is a great addition uh, it, make, it brings a realism to it and just makes it more entertaining to like play then on to the second to last bit, edit players. You can now have the ability to edit a player's appearance during career mode seasons. This option will be unlocked via the EA Sports F uh, Football Club catalog. So if you are a high level on EA Sports uh, Football Club, you will have the option to like buy a lot of custom ability um, stuff for FIFA 13. So you can now change your players mid. Like I think that uh, includes like changing boots, uh, their style and stuff. Uh, I'm hoping you can change kits as well, but we'll see. Um, then lastly, the user interface. You can now read uh, news articles from the media pane whilst the game is advancing. Um, so they pop up in like mid game, I think, which is pretty cool. And the next thing, the first time you enter career mode menus, a tutorial overlay appears to guide you through each pane's function. So if you are new to FIFA or you're, like, everyone's gonna be new to this career mode, then it will help you through. So basically, guys, that is the career mode options. Um, I'll put a link to FIFA Soccer Blog's actual article. And uh, that is the first part of the video today, but I'll do a second video, like, basically straight after, about the uh, skill games, which will have all them screenshots, guys. So, thank you for watching this. If this has helped you at all, this is basically people that don't have Twitter and stuff. Uh, please drop a like, please subscribe, and, yeah, make, look sure, uh, make sure to look forward to the next video, which will be out pretty much straight after this. Peace.